the end. Welcome to my new calculus YouTube channel. I am John Gabriel. The topic of this video is the arithmetic mean. Most people know how to construct an arithmetic mean, but never actually understand the concept. So let's begin with a definition. An arithmetic mean, or arithmetic average, is that value which would represent all the elements of a set if those elements are made equal through redistribution. How do we determine an arithmetic mean? There are two ways to do this. We can either do it geometrically, as I'm about to show you now in this section here, or arithmetically using algebra. Using algebra, we add the given numbers 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3, and then divide the resulting sum, which is 6, by 3 to give us the average. Geometrically, you can move the blocks by clicking on any of these green points and dragging, as I'm doing right now. And once the piles are all of equal height, that will give you the average in terms of any of the piles. For example, all the piles have a height of two blocks, and that is the average. When is the construction of arithmetic mean appropriate? Let's see. A useful arithmetic mean is one where it makes sense to redistribute the values. For example, three friends each need two dollars to buy lunch. They decide to pull their money because one of the friends may not have enough. If the total they have is six dollars, then it is evident there is enough money for all three to buy lunch. Thus, a meaningful redistribution is accomplished by sharing the money. A useless arithmetic mean is one where it makes no sense to redistribute the values. For example, the arithmetic mean of student grades in a given class is a senseless calculation because students cannot share their marks. Thus, a meaningful redistribution cannot be accomplished by sharing grades. Where is the arithmetic mean used in mathematics? Just a couple of very important uses. One, irregular areas, volumes, and hypervolumes as found in calculus are determinable because of the arithmetic mean. Two, the arithmetic mean is used in almost every aspect of statistics. I trust you have enjoyed this presentation. Join me again for other interesting topics to be uploaded in the near future, which include lessons on the new calculus. Till then.